I, and I was skateboarding downtown LA, and I, I heard the distinctive sound. I've, I've never heard of it. I've never heard that sound actually before, and it caught my eye once I turned around. Uh, it was a Volkswagen ragtop with a purple bright lights, and that sound was just a whining, high pitch, almost a rotary sound, and it just, it, it infused, that sound infused me so much that I was, I was so mesmerized, I guess hypnotic, it was kind of like a hypnotic sound to me, and uh, I, I think after that is pretty much what got me really involved in, into uh, being a car enthusiast and starting messing around with cars. My name is Carlos Herrera and I drive a 1976 BMW 2002. The best thing about this build is how uh, much closer I've gotten with my daughter. She just influences me in so many different ways. She loves the car as much as I do. She's told me that it feels like if this car has its personal soul, its own character. Um, so uh, it, I, I love that. It, 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 it makes me feel like, uh, like how I was when I was a kid, when I first noticed that Volkswagen. I can see the passion in her and how much she loves it as much as I do. The motor setup currently I have on my 2002 is a M20 V6 from a 1991 325i. The original motor came with a M10 four-cylinder engine. Since I daily drive the car, I wanted to add some uh, internals to make the lifespan of the engine uh, last a little bit longer. Uh, we went with uh, Ireland engineering rockers and heavy-duty pistons. And I feel for, for this engine, uh, not much horsepower added, but the reli reliability is key for me, and I think that setup is just perfect for my daily. So the motor swap was not a difficult task. It, I did a lot of reading up, asking a lot of questions in the forums, talking to certain people uh, that actually worked on these cars and the engine swaps. It's, it's not perfect, it's not beautiful, but it's, it's where I can, uh, I, I think I, I, I can do it with my budget. Uh, to actually get it where I need it to be, it, it takes money, it takes a lot of time. Having children, having a, you know, a nine to five, it's, it's very difficult to put a lot of time into your build. Uh, I do it in between weekends. Uh, it, took, it took about a couple of months, I would say two or three months to get it up and running. And being a car enthusiast, I don't think you could ever actually be 100% satisfied with, with your build. My current wheel setup right now is a BBS RS, three piece, 15 by 8.5 in the front, 15 by 9.5 in the rear with a zero offset. My tires are 195 R50s and I barely scape off without scraping with those. My current suspension setup is Ireland 22 millimeter adjustable front and rear sway bars with uh, stage two springs. My exhaust setup uh, currently I'm running on the 2002 is a E30 long tube race and track header, uh, three and a half inch pipe straight to the back with no resonators. After switching positions in, in my job and them relocating, in one of those trips coming home, I uh, remember being at a stoplight. Uh, there was a Toyota parked in front of me, sitting at the light, and I was behind them. And looking in my rear view mirror, I saw a big GMC, I think it was a 25 HD truck, uh, coming towards me at a pretty high speed, and uh, I, I believe the guy was probably Texan. So I'm looking at the rear view mirror, and sure enough, when I, I, I felt that he wasn't going to stop on time, I just grasped onto the steering wheel, which I shouldn't have done. I got slammed in the rear and I ended up pushing the car in front of me, so I was kind of an accordion uh, style of accident. And uh, that, that put the car into the shop for almost a year. this uh, 2002 to a couple of car shows, Beamer Fest and uh, vintage shows, I got a lot of negative reactions in regards to uh, having the swap, the M20 swap and putting the fender flares uh, not being an OEM turbo setup. So uh, I took those uh, negative uh, opinions and uh, put them as a, as a positive towards the build. Uh, 
uh, I built the car the way I wanted to do it. I didn't let the negativism uh, affect me. If you feel passionate about it and you feel you're doing something right, go for it. Doesn't matter what anybody's gonna say. Whatever you feel in your heart is, is what's gonna be the best for your, your build, I believe, in, in my opinion. The build behind this car originally was to have it immaculate. I, for some reason in my head, I, I felt like I would have a perfect car. And it wasn't until I started diving into putting my blood and sweat into it that I don't think that was ever going to happen. And uh, I went along with all the aches and pains and whatever came at me with the car. And it just the anger that it gave me and the happiness just made me want to drive it every day. And I don't think there was actually a specific build or purpose for it, but just more for enjoyment. nostalgic feeling. I drive the car in memory of my son. He's my co-pilot, you know? Uh, as a dad, I kind of just... My son's with me every every minute of the way as I build these cars and drive these cars. And every time I get compliments on these cars, I tell people, you know, they're not my cars, they're my son's car. Eventually, as he got older, they, were, they would be his cars. From my Corolla 86 to this Nissan to any future projects. <laughs> 